if you look at the people leaving, that's too many are just having to give up. You know, so I look beyond the net number and look at the fact that, you know, I think in 22, probably 50,000 people left. Yeah, it came down to a net of about 14. If you get the actual numbers in the stereotypes, they're a little bit different than the numbers that I had, you know, at, at the loss of maybe, say, 10,000, which is still too many. I don't want to sound cavalier about it, but it was really a lot more local people saying, we got to go somewhere else to live, and they don't, and they don't really want to do that. So I, I get pretty animated about this topic because I also know that before they give up, they go through a lot of anguish. They go through a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, and everything they can before they finally say, we can't do it anymore. And that, that anguish alone is not good for a society, you know? And, and, and so this idea of trying to get housing created, at least we're in the business of rental housing, not what people can buy. Mm -hmm. If other developers have come up with stuff that people can buy and they can afford, God bless them. But we really want to be able to put roofs over people's heads so that they can live here and not necessarily have to have to leave. If the people do leave of their own volition because they want to do that, then I don't fault them. Somebody decides, hey, I want to raise my family in Idaho. God bless you, you know, if that's, that's a decision. But so many of the people are just, they're giving up. And that's where the anguish comes because families know that. Families know that their families, part of their families, couldn't handle it anymore. And, and it shouldn't be like that. And, and we need to do something about that. That's what this is all about. I, it's the most important thing we're doing right now. It's absolutely the most important thing.